Hey guys, this is Arsenal Giants PS3, and welcome to episode 10 of our Ajax Super League. And now, first and foremost, in the goal of the tournament, uh, goal of the tournament, goal of the episode, uh, the goal went to Ryan Barbel against the Kaiser Chiefs for a pretty nice finish, and the winner was X Calum, or however the hell you say that. So I will be messaging him uh, in the not too distant future. And our first game here is against Zurich. Now Zurich are not famous for much. I think I mentioned this last time, but the only thing I can remember them ever doing is winning 1-0 at uh, the San Siro. Um, their defender's got a really nice back heel, but that is besides the point. Uh, we're starting Fisher again because he's been playing very, very well, and it seems like... Uh, a dodgy move to take him out and also Kurt Zuma um, our centre back who has been followed by Man City and Man United in real life um, is playing centre back because of Varane I think was low on fitness so it was going to be uh, hopefully quite an easy game I mean Zurich didn't you know they're not really a very very good team in terms of players they've got and uh, we take a lovely lead here it's Christian Eriksen just in the right place at the right time really with a lovely lovely header um, it's one of those goals where it's a, it's an early goal and you get one chance and because you, you know you've got a player with good finishing in the right place at the right time and it's just a very easy and nice goal to take and you know that was it really until a couple of minutes later when Suleimani is just given a free chance here and I could tell that this is just one of those games where the momentum was on our side we'd done nothing for the first 15 minutes and in the space of five minutes we've just scored twice and again you know they were dodgy they weren't quite ready out of the blocks um, from the restart and Eriksen here plays a nice ball in and it's just a very nice finish from Suleimani who's scored quite a few goals and it was just one of those goals where it's built on the momentum you score and Zurich did nothing to counter it really uh, so we're going at the break at 2-0 up it was just a very nice start to the game and um, a very well taken two goals but that was it until the 55th minute and then look at this goal Van Rijn here finds Suleimani not much on and then bang outside of the foot Quaresma-esque finish there just an absolutely beautiful goal um, I don't know how he even hits that but it just curls into the top right hand side corner perfectly here if you just have a look at this replay gets it not much on at all bang goalkeeper had no chance it was just a lovely goal to take and uh, they do get a very very late goal but for some reason my um uh, what was it called HDPVR decided to cut that bit um, so we go on to win 3-1 I was pretty frustrated to concede a last minute goal from Schumacher or whatever his name is but um, overall we didn't really taint what was generally quite an easy game and uh, we go here away to FC Braun from Norway I think we've got Eric Huskalep who was a bit of a beast last year on Ultimate Team and um, I don't know was Portsmouth I think he was I don't know why he's uh He's away now, and they have Ojo, I think he is, the Nigerian striker, if I'm correct. And again, you know, I'm starting a pretty decent team with uh, Dirk Borukta, uh, starting up front to see if we, he can kind of hold up the team, because Leandro, uh, Leandro has been playing, oh, he's playing alright, but he hasn't really offered that real direct goal threat, whereas Borukta has been very good, so I just tried, tried him up front, but they really did put the pressure on look at this their first chance here comes to Ojo here uh, it's a half chance and it comes to this guy and it bounces out and I think that is uh, Toby Alderweireld almost runs into his own net and they get a resulting corner it's a nice whipped ball in a good header there blocked off comes out to him and a brilliant block and just goes wide for another corner uh, and this time the corner from the left is whipped in we're just gonna bring a man back into the middle here whipped in and Ojo this time really does not miss did take him three chances to be fair but he finds the net and it was just such a frustrating goal you know when they've just got the momentum and it's just corner after corner and uh, you cannot do anything about it and that was it literally until now and I have the chance to free ball him and I just piss around with a bit too long with Bubble then bang there at me now Ojo beats one player um, plays a nice ball in and it's a great tackle there from Van Rijn his blind uh, left back he's gonna find Ryan Bubble set him three and I just had to make the most of this chance I take a stupid touch here, I don't know why, but we find Suleimani in the end, He nice footwork, but a dodgy first touch, and he scores a last minute goal, we've had a couple of these, and um, they feel so satisfying on FIFA, I, I mean, I made so many mistakes as well, they were just, I felt sorry for them, because they had been literally closed me out the whole game, I'd had like three shots or something, and uh, that was one of them, and it was just a great win, win what man out, a great point in the end, uh, at the end of a very frustrating game, but, this is, I'm not going to lie, this is a very run-of-the-mill episode, and our last game here is from Malmo, um, from uh, Sweden, I think it is, and uh, so our second Scandinavian opponent, and uh, I'm not too familiar with many of those players, um, 
but I'm going to go here this time with Leandro playing as a winger and uh, John Guaretti as a striker. Now, I haven't been very impressed by uh, Guaretti. He's he's been a bit shit to be honest he's not very good on this game I found he's a bit static um, I don't know if Tyler's had has had more of success but I just don't like him that much but he plays a nice ball in here to Shona in the first minute and Shona we haven't played that much just scores a great finish uh, great finish great goal there just takes a nice touch and pokes it in really and again it's an early goal which we seem to have scored um, quite a lot of recently but it's just a vital goal because it gives it really sets down the foundations of the game and their defenders, uh, their centre backs, just a quick, a little bit late off the mark there uh, in defending Schoener. And we look dangerous again here. Van Rijn, our right back, plays a beautiful pass into Schoener. This time we're going to look for Leandro at the back. And uh, Leandro playing it on the left wing in this game. Just a nice finish there. Um, quite an easy one. It would have been more. I think it would have been harder to miss that maybe, especially on FIFA. But I don't know. It was, again, you know, we saw it in the game against. Um, I saw my game against, who did we play, Zurich uh, in the first game. Just two very quick goals uh, is going to set the impetus for this match. And again, nothing else happened in these games. It was quite a lacklustre couple of games for me to play. But, you know, we got seven points from uh, nine games. And remember, guys, your goal of the episode, I'm not sure it will be a too hard one this time. Uh, just leave it in the comments with your gamer tag, and um, I will pick a winner at random and send them for f the 5k coins. Um, and uh, I will be messaging Callum for last week's goal. Um, Callum, I hope that's his name anyway. Uh, towards the end of this week, so it's you know I quite like to just do this tournament. It makes it I think a little bit more interesting maybe. And um, I'm at that point in an ultimate team where 5k coins I'd rather be giving to someone else really. Um, I'm struggling to get to grips with ultimate team but that's a completely different story. And uh, as we're going to look at the table at the end here we are second in the league just behind Sporting who we are yet to play I think or we may have played them once I'm not too sure actually. Um, Sporting are at the top, Verda are just behind uh, with Hamburg and Al Hilal are still doing very very well. I was I'm still kind of surprised that they're so high, high up in the league and uh, Motherwell not too great there in uh, 13th I think that is um, and at the bottom we have Shamrock Rovers so thanks guys for watching um, sorry that the fixtures weren't perfect for this episode and it's taken a while to come out uh, but we should have some more soon thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys later